Sunday, July 11th, and we're back up here. Um, don't know exactly what we're going to get done today. We are continuing on our fit up of the cage to the tail cone. So this is a super critical part that you don't want to mess up. You want to get it right and you have to have it fit up and right before you rivet anything or drill any holes or anything. So all that has to be verified before we take that next step. So we're just we're taking this slow. We're going to make sure that this gets fit up right. Um, been watching a few other builder videos. Uh, project 2. Pro, <laughs> Josh's channel. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Uh, been watching his channel on his build. Uh, saw that uh, go together and um, saw some stuff that uh, Eddie Gill did. And so I just want to make sure that this gets done right. So we're just taking her slow. Okay, we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get this all to come together here. Uh, I took and we put our two tables together, as you can see, and put the cage on. And I just took and uh, took the screws that the cage was fastened down onto that crate with. And I just put one there in the table and one over there in the table. And then just use some blocks here to shim it up. That way it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere, but we can still we can still adjust this angle if we need to. But uh, yeah, just working away at it. Well, we're progressing along here, uh, getting this tail cone lined, aligned with the cage, fuselage cage, and one of the measurements is the angle between the firewall, that vertical angle there, and the angle of this launcher on uh, has to be 88 point nine degrees plus or minus 0.2 degrees so we've got it to 88.9 degrees that way and we're just getting ready to measure our left right uh, angle on this we have to have to make sure that the tail is square from left to right in reference to that cage up there. So we're working on that. Uh, this is a slow process for us. We want to make sure this gets done right. Uh, you kind of don't have many second chances with this. So we want to make sure it gets done right the first time. And uh, we're just working away at it. This will take a while, but we'll get there. We matched up the tail cone 
to the cage, got things bounced, checked for twist, all that good stuff. But our stringers on the bottom skin were just a little bit too long. So it's a good thing you don't get these riveted on right away because we're having to do some adjustment of them. And I think, did we decide the long run, longerons probably don't have to be adjusted? Uh, I don't think so at this point. Didn't look like it, but we'll all see. But we definitely have to do these because these two closest here are right smack against the bar and those two are close but not touching but those two are touching so trimming them down it's gonna be a tedious job huh yes <laughs> yeah, it is. i'll just watch and we did trim these before we in uh um, installed them but obviously not enough well, we trimmed these. I think it's these two that we trimmed. Oh. These two were not trimmed out of stock. Ah. Uh -huh. So I thought they're just, just like a sixteenth too long. We're calling it a day up here. Not much as far as oh visual progress goes, but we got to the point of getting this. Uh, tail cone aligned with the cage. We've got it clamped in for right now, there and there and on both sides here. Uh, still need to, we're going to need to fabricate some shims to go in between the skin and those tabs right there. That's a little ways off yet. Uh, but this was this is a really major deal. I mean, you, this is something you cannot screw up. So we are taking our time with this one. Um, we've had that tail cone off and back on oh, numerous times. Numerous times. Uh, adjusting things, had to file a little bit off of the lingeron up here and I uh, had to file the stringers just a little tiny bit. They were uh, touching, the, touching the cage right there, that tubing. Um, we measured, we've got this squared or uh, leveled up in reference to the firewall and the firewall is actually also zeroed out with that back tube of the cage uh, and we've got it lined up there 88.9 degrees uh, along that lingeron in reference to those actual well I guess the front firewall point got that done we triangulated from you can't really see it I've got an angle there's that angle iron that's clamped onto the front firewall there it's dead center so it's equidistant on both ends from the center of the firewall or the cage and we measured from that corner back to that corner there. Uh, we got that the same on both sides, so we're good from left to right on the back. And uh, we'll have to do we'll have to check for twist, but we've we've got a ways to go on this, so progress continues. I'm um, gonna do a little more research and a big. Thank you to those of you that have videos out um, putting this stuff together. That's, some of that's uh, been helpful. Um, yeah. It's hot. 90, 93 in the hangar right now. So we're going we're gonna to head for home. And um, we only... Oh, we had some stuff going on yesterday. So we didn't get up here on Saturday. So this is our only day for the weekend. We got a vacation coming up for Oshkosh week. We're not going to Oshkosh. We're going to spend it up here at the hangar working on the airplane. That's going to be our plane-cation Our plane -cation this year for Oshkosh. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great evening. What? Sounds like Tavon Dillard. <laughs> Tavon Dillard. Um, yeah, have a great evening. And... That's it for now.